uh, Garcia, I just want to quickly congratulate as well uh, Luis Colasso, who is there. Great fight. There's really at 141, there's a, a man which rules with an iron fist. I don't think we have seen as much power here in Brooklyn since the Mike Tyson days. Uh, and that is Danny Swift Garcia, uh, still the undisputed champion at the 140 pound weight class. A great, great performance, maybe one of the most, I think the most spectacular knockout uh, I have ever seen. Great performance from Danny. Okay, um, we are going to have a special presentation as well uh, of uh, from the daily from the daily news. Um, if I may hand it over to you, uh, Brian, Brian Adams. Thank you, Richard. This one. Thank you, Richard. Um, once again, congratulations, Danny. The Daily News we decided to partner with the Barclays and with Golden Boy for bringing boxing back to Brooklyn, and Danny displayed the spirit that Brooklyn has in terms of the mental fortitude. He was up against an opponent who obviously there were some issues and he never lost focus, came in and did his job and dominated. So the Daily News, we would like to present the Daily News Championship belt, which for now on in Barclays will receive heavy editorial promotion as well as um, advertising promotion in the paper for any champion that comes and fights and do what Danny Garcia did here at um, the Barclays ring. Yeah. Another Philadelphia great. So once again, congratulations. Danny will get much, much support from the Daily News. We are proud, we are very proud of Danny Garcia. Um, he is, uh, from, his, from the very first fight on, uh, he was with Golden Boy. I want to thank as well our matchmakers, Eric Gomez and Roberto Diaz and the entire team. Uh, from Golden Boy and from the Danny, Danny Garcia's team as well. I think we work very well together and really the sky's the limit. But uh, really tonight, well we saw it in Vegas already a few months ago. We knew that the star was born. Tonight the star is shining even brighter. Uh, really, really proud. We are extremely proud of Danny Swift Garcia. You know, first of all, I want to thank God because without Him, uh, none of this would be possible. Um, I want to thank my dad. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank my family. I want to thank everybody who supported me. Um, I want to thank Al Heyman. I want to thank Golden Boy. You know, they signed me from day one, so I'm a homegrown champion. Um, one of the few. So, you know, I feel real honored to be in this position. I worked my whole life to, to um, I worked my whole life to be here to get where I'm at today, and I'm happy. Um, I made, I made it through struggle and I, all the adversity in my life that I went through. I'm happy that I'm here, man, at the Barclay Center, um, headlining, uh, headlining the Barclay Center in, in New York, man, because I'm a Philly kid. <laughs> it's a dream come true to me, man, and, um, I, you know, words can't express how I feel right now. I just, you know, you know me, I don't do the talking, my dad do the talking, so <laughs> I just let the hand, I just let the big left hook fly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, um, but, um, you know, um, I got a you know, present for Richard, you know, for, um, you know, for, um, you know, for fighting the legendary Eric Morales, um, you know, a big card, my first um, fight in the East Coast in Brooklyn, and I want to give him my robe, uh, my autograph for, you know, just a historic night, me versus Eric Morales, the first fight in Brooklyn. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, the <laughs> that's only the second time that the fighter is giving me uh, the, the outfit from the fight. Uh, the last time was actually Bernard Hopkins when he demolished uh, Kelly Pavlik. And you guys are both from Philly. And uh, those, those who have been in my office, they know that the entire outfit uh, uh, from Bernard from that legendary night against Kelly Pavlik is proudly on display uh, in my office and so uh, will this one here. Thank you very, very much. We are very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. And I just want to thank you know, all the media, all the people who came out from Philadelphia, all the people in Brooklyn who came out to the fight. 
uh, to support this night. You know, this is history, first fight in 80 years in Brooklyn. And um, it won't be the last, man. We're gonna, I'm only 24 years old, and um, I'm not even uh, in my physical prime yet, so you haven't seen the best of Danny Garcia. <laughs> Well, first of all, I want to do the same with Danny. I want to thank God, because without him, there's nothing in life. And, you know, that comes from the heart, you know. I really love Danny a whole lot. It takes a whole lot of me to put in his life to be, you know. <laughs> you know, for Danny to become the person he is. You know, I always told him, knowledge is free. Listen. Just be a good listener. You know, just stay focused in life, and God will give you a lot of big things and dreams. And Danny's living his dreams right now, you know, he's with the best promotion in the world, Oscar, Richard, and his team, they do a great job. You know, they do, uh, the matchmakers do a beautiful job. I mean, Danny got fed to the line, but that's okay. I mean, that's how you build champions, true champions. I mean, you only can get pampered so much in your life, and then, you know, your mind got to take it off. See if you know how to dump after that, because now you might not know, so if you might still, you know, <laughs> use the rap all over your house. But, you know, joke aside, uh, Morales, you know, it was a good fight, we knew that Mariah was a little suspicious with the anti-doping. I'm not calling him a dopey, but his urine was bad, but we still went along with it. You know, the last week he was clean. I'm just being honest, story, but I'm not trying to put nobody in the spot here. You know, I know he wants to go out like a legend, Hall of Famer, but um, we still did it. I was gonna pull out, because there's no money in my life that can make me more happy than Danny's life. You know, and that comes from deep in the heart. It could have millions and millions of dollars. I don't give a shit about no millions of dollars. Because to me, Danny's life is more important than anything in life. You've seen the reaction today of, of Eric Morales, reaction of his body. The way, the way his body looks is tore down. His people don't love him. So I try to tell him that the press conference, but I'll do it in hints because nobody knew what he was talking about. Only we knew. But besides that, you know, I feel happy for Danny. I'm real happy. You know, I'm, I'm, you know I want Danny to be the world best ch champion in the world in the future, a legend like, uh, like Bernard. You know, not taking nothing from him. Because Bernard, you know, he's old school. He's from my people. It's time. You know what I'm talking about. They fought, they fought in the same team. Yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? My people, my people fought Bernard when Bernard was an amateur. You know, a lot of people think that I don't know about boxing. I know a whole lot about boxing. People underestimate me. Listen, don't look at the bad guy now. You know, don't, don't judge the bad guy. You know, the, 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 the little guy. Don't judge the little guy because the little guy got a lot of secrets up the sleeve. I have a lot of street knowledge. I want people to understand that. I'm no idiot. I probably I could be a thug when I'm a thug. I could be a ghetto when I'm ghetto. I could be I could be educated when I'm gonna have to be educated. You know that comes to the heart. I don't want to talk all night because it's kind of late. We we got to roll out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you very much, and I really you know appreciate the love. And you know that's that's the only beginning of Danny's life. This this is not ending. Okay. Congratulations on your victory. I have two questions for you. Talk um, about the punch that knocked him out. I, I noticed like when I was backing him up with the jab a little bit, and when I was in the pocket, I hit him with a hook one time. My dad was like, you slap with the hook. So the second time I was backing him up, he was, he was trying to fake me to the body and throw a hand right. So I just stood in the pocket, I just turned my whole body, and I just hit him perfectly with the left hook, and he just landed. Congratulations. Thank you.